So in putting together the footage for this post raid healing screen video, I think I found another fragmentation bug. If you already know how to interpret the post raid screen, how damage mechanics can escape from Tarkov work, then there's a chapter for you to skip ahead to. Otherwise, I think that you'll benefit from the entire video. Now onto the video. Hope you enjoy! Hello everyone, this is the post raid healing screen that shows you how you died. And I'm CZTL, here to help you interpret what the damage markings on the post raid death screen actually mean. So let's jump right in. The first thing that you should know is that if you get shot in a limb and then you heal it back to full health, then it will not show up in the end of raid screen unless it takes additional damage. Here this person was shot in the arm once with 9 by 18 PST GCH, healed it up to full health, and then exited the raid. Notice that there was no damage screen after the raid. The next thing to understand about the post raid death screen is if you get a blacked out limb and you repair it with a CMS or surgical kit, healing everything back so you appear at full health, it will still show the damage that zeroed that limb on the post raid death screen. In this example, I was shot by two PST GZHs in the arm. Now let's see what shows when blunt damage is applied when armor stops this high performance slug. And then we'll follow that up with a kill shot right to the thorax with AP20. As you can see on the end of raid treatment screen, it shows the damage that each limb took from oldest to newest, top to bottom. In this case, it was only the thorax that took damage. Blunt damage is distinguishable from a regular shot with the text in parentheses. The skull icon next to the thorax shows the fatal damage that was taken, in this case, a direct shot of AP20. Note here that the fatal shot here is shown twice, once showing how the limb is dealt damage and the other when you hover over the skull icon to see what killed them. Now that we've covered the basics, let's cover collateral damage and bleeding. If you're not familiar with collateral damage, it's the damage that is taken by all other non-blacked out limbs where the blacked out limb is shot. And bleeding works very similarly. Although the HP on your head or thorax can reach zero and you won't necessarily die. I cover these topics in depth in my How Damage Works in EFT video, which I'll put a link to above in the upper right hand corner. So in this clip, I end up kneecapping this poor soul twice, one in each knee, and he starts bleeding afterwards. After each shot, he stops the bleed, and then I end up making him jump around like a monkey until he dies. On the end of raid screen, you'll see this person dies to a fall in the left leg. The left leg is also where the first AP20 shell went. He then bleeds for a bit before he's shot in the other leg. So on one leg we have the AP20 shot. On the other leg we have the collateral from that AP20 shot, bleed damage, and then another AP20 shot. All other limbs will have what was on the right leg, plus an additional bleed, plus collateral fall damage from jumping on a blacked out limb. Note here that once a limb is blacked out, it will not show it has taken any more shots. Next, let's see what happens when we shoot someone six times in a row with M855, which does 53 damage. In theory, they should have around 120 hit points left, unless they have a bleed, in which case they would have slightly less. But in practice, nope, they're dead. Before we go over what happened there, let's quickly go over this next clip. Here I've been repeatedly shooting this PMC's leg and they've been healing it back up to full health. I'm using M855 which does 53 damage, but in one shot here I'm able to black this person's leg. And what do we see in the end of raid screen? Two hits. So what happened here? The bullet fragmented causing it to show two hits with M855 on this leg. Fragmentations seem to show up the same way as regular shots do now, and in this instance the bullet did around 1.5 times its normal damage, if you account for the rounding that the UI has to do. One thing to take note of here, not only does fragmentation show up in parentheses with a number in it, but any type of the same damage will also show up with the number of times it was applied in parentheses, even if it was for different amounts. The final thing I want to mention is that this screen only shows the limbs that were damaged during combat. You can get shot in the head and not see any other limb damage, even though you have to heal them because that's what happens when you die. Now that we've covered the basics, we can probably analyze what happened when we got shot in the same leg six times with M855 and had a light bleed. You can see that there's a couple seconds in between the first shot and the second shot when I had a light bleed. Notice on the third shot here, we take a lot more damage than the others. We took about 93 damage on this hit, so there must have been a fragment. And same thing with the last hit, we were killed from 92 damage. So let's break down the last hit. If we were dealt 53 damage, we would have ended up with 41 HP. And 79.5, which is 1.5 times 53, we would have ended up with 15 HP and not died. 
The only thing that I could think of that makes any sort of sense is that the bullet fragments into two bullets to do full damage, but one of them is reduced by the initial shot that blacked out the limb. That would be 41 plus 53 equaling 94 damage. It could be anything now. A bug or a mechanic we don't know about yet. Let's see if we can gather any insight by going over the post-raid screen. As expected, the left leg took two shots of M855 damage. The rest of the limbs, except for our dude's dome piece, took one shot of collateral, followed by light bleed damage, followed by six shots of collateral, while we only did five shots during that six. That means only one fragmented. Our head, however, took seven shots of collateral instead of six. It looks like the second fragment only affected the head, but that fragment did much more damage than the community has come to a consensus on. The only variable that is different from normal is the bleed. But according to the end of raid screen, we have not taken damage since the first one, and the shots were close enough apart to only have the bleed damage apply once. And in case you were wondering, this was a live raid. I can't explain this, but it seems definitely like a bug. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you interpret the after raid treatment screen. If you still have any questions, have a confusing post raid screen, or want to quiz me, join my discord and I'll create a text chat for this. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or god forbid entertaining, smash the like out of that chip button, consider subscribing for similar Tarkov content in the future, and I will see you on the battlefield. CZTL out.